Hi there, I'm Jack Conway with Red Carpet Report. We're in downtown Los Angeles at Sundance Next Fest, celebrating the works of Quentin Tarantino, and tonight, a 25-year celebration screening of Reservoir Dogs. Great hey, to Jack. meet you. Hi there. We set? All right. Justin, hi, and welcome. Uh, congratulations. Everyone's talking about your film, which I uh, cannot say the name of. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying I'm definitely not going to say the name of but that's, that's what's so amazing is that these conversations need to happen, right? Absolutely, and it's about uh, facing them head on rather than you know skirting around the situation. You know, political correctness has become such a such a big thing, and um, but I, I think it's so important to just you know have a conversation. So you know, I hope that my film does that, and, and it allows people to to sit down and be able to uh, yeah, talk about difficult things like race relations and you know police brutality and you know and and. Just uh, either whether you wh whatever side you're on, you know. There's no uh, my film isn't preachy. It just is. It's just uh, told very straightforward. So it allows for people to to be able to just talk. Yeah. Well, you can only speak what you know, right? It's 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 uh, overstated, but it's you speak your truth in this. Absolutely, and I think that was an important thing for me making this film because uh, it's an about event that was very traumatic uh, and a part of LA history that that. Um, was tough to, to swallow so um, you know s s telling the story from a Korean American perspective I think is a is a you know way of looking at that the event that usually is overlooked mm -hmm. uh -huh. did you find in researching did you find that people were uh, willing to really come out and give you all the information that you wanted or were people more for, not as forthcoming as you would hope at least in the Korean community uh, they're very cons they were just uh, perplexed as to why I wanted to revisit the event. A lot of them, um, they felt like it's the past, let's move forward, why are we gonna go back and think about traumatic times? Uh, so, for example, my dad, you know, my dad is in the film and, and um, you know, he plays the liquor store owner across the street and he just was really confused. Uh, so it took a long time to get him to understand that, you know, in America it's just because we live in a country that's not homogeneous, we need to tell our side of the story. Um, so uh, it took a while, but he slowly came around and he, ta he told me a lot of things I never even knew. How was it directing your dad on set, though? Oh, my dad is a curmudgeon. He's such a grumpy dude. Uh, is he your toughest actor? Absolutely. You know, he had all these stipulations and, you know, he said right off the bat, no night shoots. Uh, he had problems with his wardrobe. Uh, you know, I, 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 you know, there was a point where I was wondering if I had to talk to his agent, you know, whoever that is. It's probably, uh, you know, my stepmom. Probably. Know? Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, it was, it was definitely bonding time. Well, I hope you can reconcile professionally so you can work together again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank thanks. you. Thanks. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us, everyone. Please don't forget to click like down there and subscribe to get more of our amazing interviews. What's your favorite Quentin Tarantino film? Tell us in the comments and I will fight you.